It was election day over the weekend, and thousands of Virgin Islanders cast their ballots for the Democratic primary election. According to the unofficial results, there was a 13% voter turnout on election day this past Saturday, according to the VI election system. The Board of Elections began counting the walk-in and mail-in ballots on Monday. The big race, of course, on the ballot was for governor of the U.S. Virgin Islands and incumbents Albert Bryan Jr. and Lieutenant Governor Tregenza Roach have won their bid for re-election with more than 2,700 votes. Governor Bryan thanked the Democratic primary voters for their vote of confidence for him to serve another term in office. In a statement, he said, Tregenza and I are extremely grateful for the support and the vote of confidence and thank all the voters who participated in the Democratic primary election. He also congratulated all the Democrats who were successfully elected to office. And Angel Bolquez handily won his bid for VI Senator. There were many candidates running for Senate seats in the VI legislature. He was appointed recently to fill the seat left vacant by Stephen Payne Sr., who was expelled by the legislature for violating sexual harassment and ethics policies. Bolquez will serve the remaining months of Senator Payne's term through December, then will take the seat in January. After earning more than 2,400 votes on Saturday, at least on the November ballot, there were also open seats on the boards of education and elections. For a full list of unofficial winners right now, you can visit vivote.gov.